What's up guys? So if you're new to DaVinci Resolve, you're probably wondering how to render out your audio effects. I know I did when I switched a couple of months ago and I was just trying to figure my way around the whole DaVinci Resolve beast. So in this video, I just want to show you an alternate method to rendering out your audio effects because that's not exactly possible in Resolve, but there's a good way to do it that will get you essentially the same result. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve right now. And you will see that I already got a project loaded in DaVinci. Uh, we're basically going to use one video. So this is a pretty long video, to be honest. It's about one hour. So we're going to split that in two because, I mean, we really don't need the whole video. And then we're going to go over to the Fur Light tab, which is this one right here, so we can play around with the audio. Basically, let's imagine you want to put some effects to this audio track. And what I would usually do is put some VST effects. So there are additional effects not native to DaVinci Resolve. And these effects are important because they really weigh down your computer a lot. So what you want to do is really render them out or try to find a way to get them out of the equation. So normally what I would do if this was um, a conversation, which is basically the kind that we have right here. Yeah, I had a great ride and I had to listen to you. I would usually apply some echo remover to the audio tracks. And as you can see, this will take a while, but I would usually apply two or three effects just to make sure the audio is running as clean as possible. So. Once you're ready and you have all your audio effects right there, you will see that your computer will tend to slow down, especially if you're using BSD effects. For your reference, I'm using an M1 Max MacBook Pro, so it is pretty powerful, but still, applying all of these effects takes a huge effect on your computer. So what are we going to do is we're going to right-click your audio track and select Bounce Audio Effects. This is pretty much the same as rendering out your audio effects or just replacing rendering place. All the things that you hear usually with video rendering, it's pretty much the same in the case of audio. Once you do that, it will take a while to load the whole thing up. So I'm going to wait for this to finish and get back to you in a minute. Okay, so this just finished rendering out the whole audio effects or in other words, bouncing them around. And what you'll get is your two audio tracks, they're the same. This is a stereo track, that's why you got uh, the left and the right channel. And in this case, they're separate, but that doesn't matter for the context for this exercise. And you can actually double check by going to the inspector that they have no effects apply on them. And that's because they've been rendered out or simply put, we're not able to edit them anymore. So in case you want to go back to your original audio track, which has the effects applied on them, what you got to do is you got to go up there to the view tab and select show audio track layers. Once you do that, you'll see that you have your layers right here. There's two tracks for each of them, meaning that these are the originals. In case you want to do any changes or tweaks to the original audio files, which has the effects applied on them, then you have to right click and select, oh, not the media pool, definitely not that, right click and select enable clip. Now you'll have two, which is your layered or your bounce track uh, with all the effects apply on them and then the normal one. Then you can move this around to another channel just to have it there. And for instance, let's mute the rendered out one and we can only keep the second one. No, because you heard what? And you'll see that still works pretty much as a normal track. You can also go to the inspector and this time select effects. And you'll see that we have the effect that we applied previously here showing up. So that's all good and dandy. There's no problem there. And if you want to deselect um, the tracks, just go there and you'll have them showing as normal audio tracks. So basically hit view and again, show audio track layers. So that's pretty much it. It's super simple. As you can see, it's a way of rendering out your audio effects, which without having to go through a lot of hassle, really, it's two clicks. And the cool thing about this is that you still have the original files right there for you to edit in case you made any mistakes. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please leave a like on the video that will help me out a ton. And I'll see you guys later with some more DaVinci stuff while I figure my way around the whole thing. 
because it's so complicated and at the same time so cool. Everyone's changing to DaVinci Resolve and I think that it's for a good reason. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.